there, it's Amelia bringing you another Microsoft Word video. In this video, I'll review various keyboard and mouse shortcuts that you can use to save time and increase productivity when using Microsoft Word. Now, I do want to mention that the keyboard shortcuts that I'm about to show you have been around for quite some time, and they are not new in Microsoft Word 2016. In fact, a lot of them can be used in other Microsoft applications, and some of them can be used outside of Microsoft applications. So let me begin by showing you a couple quick and easy ways to navigate around your document using the keyboard. So to go to the beginning of the line, you can use the home key. To go to the end of a line, you can press the end key. If you want to quickly navigate to the very top of a document, press control home. Now let me show you that a little further down so you can get a better idea. Control home takes you to the top of the document. And to get to the end of the document, you hit control end. And again, I want to hit control home because I'm going to go to the top and show you a couple more shortcuts. Now, one of my favorite shortcuts uh, that I use all the time is control Z. And control Z is undo, and I use that quite a bit. So if you end up um, deleting something that you didn't mean to delete, like this, you can just quickly get it back with control Z. Now there's also control Y, which is redo, which will redo the last thing you did, which in my case is delete. But um, honestly, I just don't use control Y quite a bit. I use control Z though all the time. Now there's a lot of other keyboard shortcuts that come in handy if you like the keyboard. For instance, to turn italics on, you could go to the ribbon bar and click italics, but there's keyboard shortcuts for just about everything. So for example, if you wanted to italicize something, you can select text and hit control I. You can also hit control U to underline and control B for bold. Although in that case, since it's already bolded, it unbolded it. So basically these uh, commands will toggle off. So if you hit control U again, it will undo the underline. C control I again, it will undo the italics. Okay, so next I've opened up a different sample document and I'd like to show you three different ways to copy selected text or graphics. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and triple click, which is one of my favorite things to do. And if you want more uh, text selection tricks. I have a separate video on just text selection tricks. So um, I've just selected a paragraph and I want to go ahead and hit control C, which is one of the ways you can copy and then pasting. I'm actually going to kind of combine this here. I showed you one way to copy, which is control C and then one way to paste would be control V. Okay, and let me just undo that. And another way to uh, copy would be control insert. And then I'm going to move down and another way to paste is shift insert. And those are my keyboard shortcuts. Now from the ribbon, you might be used to selecting your text and then going up to the home tab on the ribbon and then clicking copy. But to make things go a little faster, all you have to do is right click, which I kind of forget about that a lot. I just end up using the keyboard or going up to the ribbon. But uh, when you right click, you get this little quick copy here. And that's one way to copy and then jump down here and right click and here's your paste. And I love these paste options which when you mouse over them, you could see exactly what it's going to look like. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep my source formatting and go ahead and paste it right there. Well, that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment below. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.